So you know Christmas has started when the Royal Court Christmas show is on. Uh, and the good thing about the Royal Court Christmas show, it's on right the way through till 15th of January, so it's not a pantomime, um, it's funnier. Oh yes it is. It is. <laughs> Full of Scouse comedy, uh, Lindsay, Michael, Scouse of the Rising Sun. Just just fill us in, what's it all about? What craziness is happening this year at the Royal Court? Um, where do we begin? <laughs> There's loads. Starts off in an airport, uh, travels off to the Far East, uh, follows the journey of a lad called Terry, played by Michael Edwards. And along the way, he meets these crazy larger-than-life characters, which is Claire Car- Karaoke and uh, the Tony the Panda. OK. So, uh, and, and basically, we, we need to get him back home, you know, so we kind of go into a, a, a dream world, don't we? And, yeah. and the plan is, let's get him back home to Liverpool. There's always, like, a mission in a Royal Court show, isn't there? Mm-hmm. Like, a mission that's got to be fulfilled, and it's will he or won't he do it? Will they do it? Will they complete the mission? Well, I can't tell you that. You have to come and see it. But they do get captured by the baddie, played by Alan Stocks. Um, and, and they end up in chains, obviously. Chain, chain, chain. <laughs> We've got all the classics in there. So, yeah, it is really interesting to see how they do get back. Okay. And if they do get back. Now, the name of the airport. We've got Liverpool John Lennon Airport. Yeah. It's not Liverpool John Lennon Airport. No. Tell us what that is, because that instantly made me laugh when I seen the set. Oh, oh no, no, airport. Airports. As in, in oh no. <laughs> oh no, I get it now. Oh, now I'll play on words. Keep up with us, Jeff. That is brilliant. Who, who comes up with all of this and puts it together? What crazy person does this? Uh, this year it was Kevin Fearon, you know, and um, I think Ian Christie is the culprit for all the titles. <laughs> they kind of sit in the office and throw them around from like mid March, mm. um, you know, and you throw your own in as well, but they never get used in case you want commission. <laughs> 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 so they go with their own. So this year, yeah, Scouts of the Rising Sun, and it's interesting to know where they're going to go next year. You know, we're yeah. running out of places now. <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> it's perfect though if, if you're crimbo shopping to come and see it afterwards or whatever. It's a great little build up to Christmas, but it's on the way right the way through till. till Jan as well. Oh God, yeah, you know, and it's great for Christmas presents. A lot of people buy Christmas presents. There's a lady who comes every single year with like 20 family members and she went, it's great. I get off the 79 bus, I come in, I buy all the presents because they all get a ticket and a meal and I'm done. Boxed off. Are you, um, obviously you're going to be working through Christmas, so you're all going to be eating crimbo dinner together, are you going to be fed up with each other by then? I don't, I don't really like any of the cast, to be honest with you. I didn't think so, but, uh, yeah. but no, on the, the Saturday before Christmas, yeah. we do get a, um, a Christmas meal here at the Royal Course, okay. so we have party poppers and, and all that between shows, and then no one can work in the night time because we're all stuffed! <laughs> and then you're hungover the next day, so you probably can't work too. That's normally every Saturday for all going over there because we go always on a Friday. <laughs> Obviously, Scouts of the Rising Sun is on until the 15th of Jan. Mm-hmm. Um, we're going to give some tickets away. We're going to retweet and share. Why should people come and check this out? It's a good laugh. We, we, we opened, we had a little preview last night, didn't we? Yeah. Uh, sort of um, the front of house and the choir came to see it. Um, very nice feedback. Um, great songs. Uh, as Lindsay said before, there's uh, food before. So literally you can spend from half five in the in the afternoon till 11 o'clock at night here. Have a great night, great entertainment. Uh, 16 plus, I believe, is yeah, the... Yeah, uh, I think so. Yeah. So it's naughty then? Um, Cheekily. Yeah, it's cheeky, cheeky naughty, naughty yeah. you know. I play a very raunchy little character this year. Like you. That's no, not like you. No, not at all. <laughs> uh, we hear the Royal is coming back. <gasps> yeah. Tell us more. The Royal's coming back. It's coming back the 21st of August to the 21st of September. So there's another Christmas present you can buy. <laughs> Don't forget Mother's Day and Father's we need, we need Day. We get vouchers at the Royal Court. Uh, yeah, yeah, we yeah. do. Yeah, well, listen, come and check it out. Scouts of the Rising Sun. It looks crazy. The stage looks crazy. It's amazing. And you get to see these two as well. And if it's you a Christmas retweet cracker. this, it's a cre- I like it. I like yeah, it. The lads are coming and taking fast. <laughs> uh, just retweet. Give it a little share. And you could be in with a chance of winning a table for four. And the food is lovely as well. Oh, it's yeah. gorgeous. Side does amazing food. Get the steak with goat's cheese. <gasps> to die for. Listen, enjoy. Good luck. You're opening tonight. Thank you, 25th of November until the 15th of Jan. Ciao, guys. Thank you. Thank you.